Welcome in. Today we're going to get a little bit dark. We're going to be getting into the mind of a League of Legends developer. I know, that's crazy, but it's not just any League of Legends developer. No, this is a League of Legends developer who thinks it is acceptable to charge $500 for a single skin, a limited time skin at that. So you know they're trying to cash in on the FOMO. And as far as I'm aware, this is not tied to any charity. The proceeds all go directly to Riot. So it's not like Pink Mercy and Pink Mercy costed 15 bucks anyway. So that doesn't really matter. But let's see what this is all about. Look, I'm not sure what to say. Say boo, boo, we hate Riot, boo. Uh, full disclosure, I am a League of Legends hater. I am a Riot hater. I do enjoy some TFT though. I will dabble in TFT. So you'll have the league haters perspective, and I assume this guy is a league lover. Can we go back to the $200 skin? <laughs> so yesterday, Riot finally revealed what is happening with Faker's skins. Yeah. It all started with Faker's mini documentary getting a teaser. Then we got a semi-cinematic trailer for the skins connected to this. Then we got a reveal of those skins. And then... Then we learned about the pricing. <laughs> immortalized legend collection? Brother, how are you immortalizing him if you're making it limited time? Come on, come on, Riot. But for those who do not know, Faker is one of the greatest League players of all time. Maybe the greatest. Like I said, I'm not that big into League, but I have heard the name Faker. People in the comments can correct me, but from my understanding, he would be considered the Michael Jordan of League. Is that correct? And after testing out just how- Also, funnily enough, one of the things I have heard about Faker is he doesn't use skins. So it's kind of funny that they're giving him a $500 skin when he's kind of known for not even using skins. How many players would be buying the $200 skins? Riot decided to step up their game and test out just how many players are able to take a loan to get a skin. You only need a couple whales, man. You only need a couple whales and League has a ton, so. So without further ado, let's have a look at what is actually happening. Yeah. Here. Of course, all of this is tied to something new called the Hall of Legends, a website that is currently giving honor to Faker, perhaps the best League of Legends player, who is also just widely considered the best gamer in the world in general. It is truly incredible to see what Faker was able to accomplish. So some kind of giving honor makes sense here. I mean, if you just scroll through the website, you will see some quick recaps of what Faker did. After which the website immediately dives into the Halls of Legends <laughs> event. That's right. This is not just about giving honors to the players. It's about giving money to Riot, of course. It is also about the players giving up their money. However, as much as we may be joking- With that said, Broccoli Baron title, that kind of goes hard here the first microtransaction that's revealed here is pretty good at least compared to other league standards yeah, i mean maybe that's the tech you know put a skin that's like just so egregious that all your other microtransactions look kind of good maybe it's okay he joked in the beginning he was like can we please go back to 200 skins all of a sudden those don't look as bad anymore they're still bad don't get me wrong but in comparison because remember, all in-game purchases are subjective because Riot are the ones setting up the prices. So first we got the Hall of Legends event pass. That's right, we got a whole new battle pass with this, which is still priced within League's reasonable window. Although it is still about- I assume this is like 20 bucks? Five dollars more expensive than all the other passes. So for about $20, yeah. expect 100 levels of unlockable rewards. And here, I really want you to remember that this has 100 rewards, okay? Just keep that 100 in your head. Keep on and here you honestly get quite the bang of rewards. The main prize here is going to be the Risen Legend LeBlanc, which is your standard epic quality skin. Together with this, you will also get all the SKT T1 skins for all the champions that Faker played, 125 Mythic Essence, which is pretty good, that is about one half of one of the most prestigious skins, and a lot of Faker-themed items. So far it sounds good, especially all the skins. There are 14 new icons and emotes. The broccoli- Now, I've said this previously, 
on many videos, but I was a bit of a live service Andy in the past. I was a Knockout City player. I was a Rumbleverse player. And I did buy the season pass for every season of those games. So, you know, I'm no stranger to dabbling in season passes. And this seems like a very fair season pass. Unless the level 100 is like impossible to hit. We'll see. Broccoli Baron title, which is an obvious joke about Faker and the broccoli. The hide on bush ward, which I believe is a reference to Faker wading in bushes with his rise. The unkillable Demon King banner, which is another reference to his nickname. And six loot orbs, each of which should have at least one skin inside. So as you can see, for about $20, that is a lot. I would actually mm -hmm. say that is a pretty good purchase yeah. if you play League of Legends a lot. Because remember, it is still a battle pass. You have to play the game to get all of these. You don't just get them, even though that's what you paid for. But alas, such is the fate of battle passes. So, so far so good, right? Wrong! <laughs> Let's have a look at the second microtransaction. Okay. Here, you can buy a standalone skin. A uh -huh. skin that has some legendary quality features. She looks pretty good though. 500 good? I don't know about that. Like I said, you can get a lot with 500 bucks. She kind of looks like Cinder, the VTuber, if anyone is familiar. It is not a full rework of the animations. Still, this one will cost you $50. Oh, this is only 50. Okay, okay. What the hell is the $500 one? Which, in reality, is a whole bundle. You can't actually buy this skin as a standalone item. Uh -huh. Now, this bundle will also give you the Hall of Legends Battle Pass. Which means that, technically, the skin is only $30. You get, like, roughly 30 you get exclusive borders, whatever, etc. But it is a marketing trick. They still made you buy things in bulk. Uh -huh. So, in reality, the price stays at 50 I don't necessarily hate this because League of Legends is a free game. They need to make money somehow, I understand. So, this season pass or faker pass, I'm okay with that. This, listen, 30 is steep, but I assume this is targeting, you know, Ari diehards. If you're familiar with Overwatch, Ari's like the mercy of Overwatch. All the pretty skins go to her and, you know, the other pretty looking lead characters. But Ari's very popular. And what makes this one special is not... So much so that me, a non-league player, is very familiar with her. Just Faker's name attached to it. It does have some unique features. The skin has a special taunt that actually gives you a number of all your takedowns. Oh, that's and cool. that's kind of it. You also have your special border and an icon and an emote. But those are kind of standard these days. And no, I don't count getting the actual champion as a bonus. So on top yeah, of... Yeah, I would assume most people already have Ari bought by now. The quality of a normal epic skin, you are just paying extra $10 for an emote that shows you your takedowns. Which is... Personally, I think that's a cool emote. Not the best, but it is still not that bad. Yeah. No, if we want to go bad... <laughs> it's time, fellas, get ready. We need to turn a microtransaction macro. into a macrotransaction. Yes, yes, give it to me. And give we it do me. that by raising the price six times. That's right, as the gaming company trend goes these days, this skin has multiple <laughs> tiers for purchase. I mean, where did Riot get this idea? All right, so... What what could possibly be the difference between these two? They're both white. This one has wait. Is the five hundred dollar skin just because it has Faker's autograph on it? A digital autograph? Please tell me no. Yeah. Ubisoft. And yes, we are jumping up from the price of fifty dollars all the way to thirty-two thousand RP. Yeah, with all due respect, I don't even need to read this to tell you that three hundred bucks is far too much. But let's let's hear him tell us what's in here. Or in other words, about three hundred dollars. That is already more than the two hundred dollar skins. <sighs> and this one is not even part of a gacha system, so you have to buy it for that high price directly. It's supposed to be better. I'm not sure if it is. Well, as it tends to be. Wait, the 200 skins are gotcha? I don't know if that's better, honestly. 
Yeah, upon seeing this high price. People usually look at what they can get for that price to see if it is justified. So, let's have a look at what we get. So, for the extra $250, you get an upgraded version of the skin. This skin has an extra feature. White hair. It evolves. <laughs> Based on the video, you get credit for destroying structures or killing opponents. And after getting enough points, the skin evolves. Which she looks much cool right here. A bit goth. We love goth queens. You know the vibes. She just turns her dress black and it turns her tails into a bunch of... Not for 300 bucks, though. Foxes. Admittedly, it looks pretty good. It does. And there is also a third evolution, which essentially turns the skin into... A prestige version, but that's only up during her ultimate. So oh. when the ultimate goes off, she transforms back. Although while it's up, apparently she also gets unique HUD elements on screen. Now, if you look directly at all the things listed here in this bundle, you have the unique transformation. <laughs> Demon King HUD during ult. How long does her ult last that they're trying to charge 300 when that's the main takeaway? which we just mentioned. But here we learned that each transformation also has unique voice lines. But oh apparently boy. the skins also get a custom visual. Listen, maybe if I was like beyond down bad looking up Ari on Rule 34 in my goon cave nonstop, maybe I buy this. But past that, like you just need to be an obscenely rich League of Legends player. Like you need to be an international Chinese student supporting Tencent with this purchase. That's the only answer. If it's not the only answer, I'm terrified to meet the, the normal gamer who'd be willing to do this. Well, announcer, which I assume is not a new voice for the announcer. It should really be just a new border around the words first blood. Then this skin also has a unique animation for destroying towers and killing enemies. It is this fox slamming down, which looks like a finisher from Valorant. And all things considered, this should be an entirely new thing. As far as I am aware, finishers don't exist in League of Legends, even though they exist in every other Riot game. Mm -hmm. So from a marketing perspective, I have to advise you. Don't get baited into buying an expensive skin because it has some features which other skins don't. Eventually, after this feature gets tested, it is extremely likely we will see other finishers in the game. Maybe it will be turned into a separate cosmetic. Yeah, honestly, this reminded me of a little legend finisher from uh, TFT. That's what would make sense. Once the Pandora's box gets opened, it will be everywhere. And it happens in literally every live service game ever. So don't buy it just for the finisher. Anyway, next, it also gets mentioned that you get everything from the previous bundle. So, pretty much just the border icon and emote, and also the battle pass. There is also a holographic immortalized splash art, which sounds way too cool for an animated splash art, which you are only going to see during champion select. <laughs> so you. Oh man. Oh man. It's only a champion selection. Okay, cool, sick. Love that. You will see it exactly for like uh, 60 seconds. Man, these devs are pretty egregious, huh? There is also a dynamic profile background, which I assume is the exact same animation which- Man, you Riot, give like 90% to charity. Hell, give 50% to charity. And like, I'm really not that upset, you know? And you still get a lot of money from it. See on screen right now, except uh, you will see it on your profile. An immortalized border, so... Uh, a cooler version of the previous border and new <laughs> icon and emote so a cooler version of the previous icon and emote so really you don't get much from the previous pack and that should be what justifies the 250 dollars <sighs> it means i desperately hope that the signature version has far more and just a weird faker NFT autograph. It has to, right? Surely, surely it does. You are paying for the transformation feature, and that is honestly it. You are raising it from an epic skin to a legendary skin for $250. But um, uh, if you look down there, uh, you know that's not it. We all know that there is also 
the third bundle. So, let's rip the band-aid off. So, for over double the price, or 59,260 RP, or in oh other words, my. almost $520, the new features... Damn, it's over 500? It's not even a flat 500? Better get mind-blowing. And do you know what? They will blow your mind. I'm just not sure it's gonna be in a good way. So, on top of the skin evolving for another $250, mm -hmm. which overall is more than the minimum wage of many countries around the world, the skin... Yeah, and a lot of those, like, low-wage countries are the ones playing League because it is free-to-play, you know? ...gets a new Faker's signature move, which shows Faker above Ari. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> also, you have fakers. Listen, if you're a mega faker shrimp, you look at them like this. Maybe you want that. Maybe you're into that. Structure finisher, which gives you a bit of red smoke around the tower when you destroy it. That's and it. A signature pops up. Dude. Next, you also. That is pathetic. You have the final boss faker title, which. First of all, that is a weird title. It is a weird title because The Rock is the final boss. Would I be the final boss faker Necrit? Doesn't really have the ring to it. But also, I am pretty sure people will get bullied if they are caught with this title. Just like they have with the $200 Yeah, you kind of put a target on yourself, right? When you do this stuff. In. Then, of course, there is yet another border with yet more icons and emotes. So again, the previous ones lose their value. There is also a new signature splash art, which is exactly the same as the previous one, except uh, this one is signed. Just to remind you, that is a digital signature on your screen yeah. for uh, $500. Then it mentions... They're really pushing the, uh, the fake NFT stuff here. Everything from the previous bundles which is pretty much the transformation feature of the skin and uh, the battle pass. You also get a special chroma recolor of the LeBlanc skin and a special recolor for all the T1 skins of the champions that Faker played. But lastly and most importantly, uh -huh. what do we got? You also get 100 pass <laughs> levels. Now let me ask you a question. Do you remember the I remember. thing I told I remember. you to remember? The pass has 100 That's levels. That's right. Why play a game that gives you rewards, which you paid for, when you can pay $500 and just skip everything and get all the rewards at once? What's crazy about this is that, yes, this is literally just you buying a digital signature and 100 level boosts. That is it. That is honestly wild. Like, look, if Faker doesn't personally come to my room and sign the tower I just destroyed, I'm not sure if it's worth it. In fact, now you might be asking, just who is this for? You know what? what? Being real, I don't even know if Faker sending out real autographs to people who buy the skin would even make it worth it. Well, let me tell you, it's for all the people who buy all the skins regardless of what they are. To which you might argue, those people don't exist. To which I would Oh no, they certainly do. I wish they didn't. Trust me, whales are indeed real. And honestly, this is going to sound dumb, but this $500 skin is probably going to go up greatly in value. Like Pink Mercy, which is from Overwatch, when it released, it was 15 bucks. I don't know how much it costs now, but it's expensive. Actually, let me look it up. Let me look up how much an account with Pink Mercy costs. All right, so this obviously isn't going to be a direct conversion because the accounts have other skins on them, but this is player auctions, and this is where you can sell your Overwatch account. And as you can see, all of these have Pink Mercy, and look at the prices, dude. That is insane. Look at these. The cheapest one is what? $5.95? This is the cheapest one? And this was originally 15 bucks. So you do the math. That Faker skin probably going to go crazy. Fly. Oh yeah, they do. I have the receipts. Those 60k? I just wish I was rich. I really do. I wish I was a Chinese international student who had money to blow. Leave Lamborghinis at the school when I go back to China. Buy every single League of Legends skin. Must be nice. People are real. They what I do feel bad about is the people who aren't rich and are doing that. 
scare me, dude. Now, throughout all of this, I have to let my opinion out. And the truth is, I don't really care what Riot is selling. It's a skin, and fortunately, a skin can't ruin gameplay. Okay. I do care, because I'm a hater. Of course, there are exceptions. So is League worse because this skin got released? Arguably not. So I'm not mad at Riot or anything like that. I just think they've gone mad. Yeah. Because I have no idea who could even greenlight this. Also... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how did they sign off on this? I am mad. The drama <laughs> is not over. You'll see some pretty awful things coming in in just a second. There's more. Anyway, this is supposed to be a celebration of Faker. Instead, it is a celebration of the people who can afford to celebrate a Faker. celebration of capitalism. You know the vibes, handshakes. And honestly, I don't think that's gonna be many. I still think a lot of people will buy the base $50 version. Yeah, does Faker get a cut of this? Does Faker get like 10%? I hope he does. That's gonna be way more people than you probably think. A slightly smaller chunk of all of those people will actually go for the $250. It sounds ridiculous, but I actually believe that. But hopefully not too many people get baited into the $500 bundle. That one is a joke. And what's the dumbest part about all of this? Is that I don't think Faker even gets a cut from this. Uh, like well... There's our answer. Riot, why are you so scummy? Tencent, why are you so scummy? Like, if Faker gets 90% of all the profits, a lot more people would feel better about their... Illusion. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't even be butthurt. He's probably already set for life, since he's, like, mega famous in Korea. But give him money. Give him some money for everything he's done for the game, you know? Why not? I'm down. If you don't want to do charity, at least give money to the guy that the skin is made for in the honor of to immortalize. Illusion that they are actually supporting an individual. But it's more likely that Riot will get most of the profits. And many people will feel like Riot is just leeching off of Faker, which mm -hmm. in this case, that's exactly what they might be doing. So, um, apparently, that is indeed what's happening. Because on the website, they confirm that 30% of the profits will go to the entire team. Which is reasonable, because Faker wouldn't be where he is without a team. But not Okay, it's not terrible. I'm still not down with it. But at least it's not all going directly to Riot. But in a way, it is. <laughs> like, Riot could have simply gave more money to the teams. At least I believe they could. I'm not entirely sure how it goes. I know esports regarding League of Legends is very complex. There's like different tiers and whatnot. You need to get an invite, I believe, to play at the highest level. So I think Riot does have a lot of, you know, they oversee everything from my understanding. But if I'm wrong, my apologies. Only is the 30% cut quite bad, but that also means that Faker directly gets even less. So overall, the situation is not amazing. But don't worry, we are yeah, at not... at the very least, they could have done 50 there. ...not done with the drama just yet. Because there is one more thing we have to mention. But it's Riot, so when we see 30, maybe we're like, hey, it's not too bad. At the very bottom, there is also an FAQ for this kid. Uh -huh. And here they talk about how long the event will ah, be up for. Yes, I believe he's going to speak about FOMO, the fear of missing out. And that is why those Mercy accounts I showed you, did I, did I leave the tab up? I didn't. GG's. I'm not going back to it. Uh, but all the Mercy skins, they're so expensive or the accounts are so expensive because the Mercy skin was limited edition. Limited time only. Much like this one is. What the Hall of Legends is about, they even talk about how the pricing was decided. Oh, Long yeah? story short, it is for those who are uh, looking to <laughs> flex their fandom. Yo, if anyone wants to flex their fandom to Noggin Movement, please go to my Twitch and Tier 3 sub. I would appreciate it greatly. Handshakes all around. You can also join and become a member here. Handshakes all around. You get a cool badge to flex your fandom. For $500. Mine's only five bucks. Unless you're tier three, then it's 25. Yeah, do you remember feeling pride and accomplishment? Also, in another question, they mentioned that uh, this... This will return Ooh. annually. Yep, right plan... $500 skins every year. Save up, budget for it. That gives you enough time. 12 months? You can save 512 months, right? Can't you? Surely you can, right? 
happens to release a new $500 skin every year. But that, that's not the worst There's part. More. Somehow things get far <laughs> worse. And I mean, this is the- Sometimes you just gotta laugh, you know? You just gotta laugh when you're watching these, watching a synthetic man video, listening to Riot B scumbags, you just gotta laugh bottom of the barrel of predatory practices. What is Because it? after setting up this ridiculous price, uh -huh. and after trying to bait people into buying something they will absolutely regret uh -huh. buying the next year, yeah, yeah. they drop the sickest line on the entire website. Let's hear it. At current, this content is meant <laughs> to be available for limited time only, oh. and there are no plans to bring these cosmetics back. You like better get your 500 bucks ASAP. As soon as possible, brother. July 8th. Time's running out. You got a month and some change, okay? Chop, chop. Likewise, there are no plans to add the Hall of Legends cosmetics to the loot pools, including rerolls. That's right. <sighs> this is a $500 FOMO. If it was just yeah. $500, who cares? And honestly, FOMO is very strong, at least on me. And I'm one who likes to think that, you know, marketing tactics don't work on me very well. But Diablo 4, I purchased it early so I could play early. I am thankful to say, though, that I did avoid some FOMO recently. Um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I like the movie. I wanted to play the game. Plus, look, I can do this, right? It's perfect. I am a killer clown, you know? So I want to play the game, but... They announced two days ago, which was a week from the proper release date, that the game would have early access for those who purchase it now. And, you know, I got salty and I decided not to. I decided to not get hit by the FOMO bullet, at least this once. But I do think many will get hit by the FOMO bullet and buy that Ari skin. It's a skin the world won't burn. But if you say, hey, that's a $500 skin and it will never return. Well, now you are absolutely just baiting yeah. people into buying it. This is without a doubt predatory yep. because you are exploiting your own players. And understand, I do hate Blizzard as well. I do not respect them. Make no mistake about it. But the Pink Mercy, it was $15. And the proceeds went to charity. It was for breast cancer. Extremely respectable. Rare Blizzard W. This is just insane greed by Riot. Impulsiveness. And you know this is what you are doing because this is an extremely common practice in sales. Yep. This is garbage. And even though before it was just jokingly bad, with this single line, mm -hmm. any solidarity you could have had before was just destroyed. No, yeah, I agree. The only reason why I watched this is because I heard it was limited and 500. And like that's what made me beyond just oh that's kind of that's kind of lame. That makes me a little angry, you know. Makes me want to go on the defense force a little bit. By defense force, I mean offense force. I understand that the feedback will be harsh, and I understand that the prices will not change as a result. But will that do anything? I mean, he just said the prices won't change as a result. Like riots, gigantic, ten cents behind them. They're even more gigantic. There will be whales. They're going to make money off this. People aren't going to stop playing League, you know? Like, they can get away with it. They're not held accountable. So they just continue to do questionably immoral things. Because there are no consequences. But this should not be a limited purchase. There is no reason to do it. And you are actually harming people. So please, Riot. Oh, yeah. Like, there's there's certainly going to be someone who is, I don't know, I hope they don't take out a loan. Maybe just put it on a credit card, which is still bad if they can't pay it off. Just to get this skin, because time's running out. Like, surely someone somewhere is going to do that. And, you know, let me, let me be self-righteous. Let me stand on my moral high ground. I think that is legitimately evil to do. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing I did that. Reconsider this. And that is the $500 skin explained. I honestly don't even know how we got to this point. It all started with prestige skins, then we got some mythic essence, 
Then we got $200 skins, and now we are up to $500. <laughs> like, honestly, what's gonna be next? <laughs> there has to be a $1,000 bundle one day, right? Don't say it. Like, that is where Don't we speak are it going. Into existence. There is, like, nothing else that can be done now. Every video game under the sun has multiple editions that have ridiculous prices. And now, why do skins have the same <laughs> thing? And what's worse is that it is confirmed that it will be coming back annually. So it will be a $500 annual mm -hmm. FOMO. And you know what's the worst about all of this? What is it? Riot warned us. They <laughs> warned us with the tag. <laughs> Expensive they put Ari. Oh, God. On their trailer. All right, man. Good video. Shout out this guy. Go sub to him. If you like League of Legends, I enjoyed that. I hate League of Legends, though. Man. That's terrible. Not that surprising. Hopefully, you know, Overwatch doesn't get any ideas. And we won't see a $500 Mercy in the future. If they do, just make sure it's for charity again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.